Have a closer look at this photo. What do you think about that object shining brightly just below the galaxy? It is not any other galaxy or any quasar with blinding light. In fact, you are directly looking at the demise of an exploding star or in simple word, a supernova. A supernova is a violent, powerful and luminous explosion of a star that has reached its last evolutionary stage. The original object called the progenitor either collapses to a neutron star or a black hole or is completely destroyed to form a diffuse nebula. The peak optical luminosity of a supernova can be comparable to that of an entire galaxy before fading over several weeks or months. Around a couple of years ago, astronomers observed a strange supernova in which the star miraculously survived a violent explosion and started shining brighter than before. This is the Universe Factory and in today's video we are talking about how this star mysteriously survived the explosion that would have ripped it apart. Before we begin, if you are constantly curious about the world of astronomy, if you want the big questions answered, this channel is for you. So subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification next to it. We, const we constantly post interesting stuff that is related to astronomy and this way you will be the first one to get notified. You may find us on social media platforms as well, links to which have been mentioned in the description, be sure to check out. Now without any further delay, let's find out how this particular star survived this catastrophic explosion of a powerful supernova. The supernova that we are talking about is known as SN 2012Z, which was discovered way back in 2012. It is located in spiral galaxy NGC 1309, that is around 120 million light years away in the constellation Eridanus. This one is a type 1A supernova, meaning the progenitor is a white dwarf star. White dwarf star cannot have mass more than 1.4 times of solar masses, otherwise it will further collapse into neutron star when it reaches in the final stages of its evolution. This critical mass limit is known to the world as Chandrasekhar limit, named after Indian physicist. If a white dwarf gradually accretes mass from a binary companion or merges with a second white dwarf, the general hypothesis is that a white dwarf's core will reach the ignition temperature for carbon fusion as it approaches the Chandrasekhar mass. Within a few seconds of initiation of nuclear fusion, a substantial fraction of the matter in the white dwarf undergoes a runaway reaction, releasing enough energy to unbind the star in a supernova explosion. This is the basic mechanism of type 1A supernova to occur. Researchers believe that something similar happened in NGC 1309. Hubble Space Telescope has captured many photos of NGC 1309 throughout the years. And with the help of these photos, astronomers were able to identify the progenitor that was responsible for this supernova. After studying these results, astronomers not only found that this star somehow survived this violent explosion, but it started shining brightly than before. They termed this phenomenon as Type 1AX supernova. This type of supernova may not always completely destroy the white dwarf progenitor, but instead leave behind a zombie star. The reason behind the survival of the star is thought to be comparatively weaker explosion of the supernova. All the debris and dust from this weak explosion must have been settled back down on the star, making it appearing bigger. But how did it start shining brightly than before? Well, there could be many reasons. Like the glowing remnant or companion star that got heated with the shocking explosion, or the radioactive decay with some chemical element other than the cobalt that must be having longer half-life like iron 55 which is 2.7 years. Cobalt isotopes have half-life period of just few days. 
Earlier we mentioned something called a zombie star. A zombie star is a hypothetical result of a type 1A X supernova which leaves behind a remnant star rather than completely dispersing the stellar mass. Type 1A X supernovae are similar to type 1A but have a lower ejection velocity and lower luminosity because of comparatively weaker explosion. Type 1A X supernovae may occur at a rate between 5 and 30% of the 1A supernovae rate. 30 supernovae have been identified in this category. In a binary system consisting of a white dwarf and a companion star, the white dwarf strips away material from its companion. Normally, the white dwarf would eventually reach a critical mass and fusion reactions would make it explode and completely dissipate it. But in type 1A X supernova, only half of the dwarf's mass is lost. Studying events like these will help us understand the mechanics of stellar astrophysics. Scientists are paying attention to the giants like Betelgeuse and especially VY Canis Majoris which are expected to go supernova soon. VY Canis Majoris is a red hypergiant star that has evolved rapidly because of its high mass. The star will certainly explode as a supernova as it has begun to fuse helium into carbon. Like Betelgeuse, it is losing mass and is expected to explode as a supernova within the next 100,000 years. It will probably revert to higher temperature beforehand. The star is very unstable, having a prodigious mass loss such as in ejections. Studying such stars that will end their lives in supernovae is very important to understand stellar evolution and the results of these studies will surely be exciting. Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family if you got to learn something new. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification to get notified for the latest updates and the happenings in the world of astronomy. Meanwhile watch these suggested videos as well. We will be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then keep looking up.